Ever wondered if the path you're on is the path of self-love or just self-delusion? The journey of personal growth is intertwined with the essence of self-love. It's the cornerstone of becoming the best version of yourself. Today, we will delve into 10 signs that show you're finally starting to love yourself. Firstly, you accept your imperfections. Now let's be clear. Acceptance doesn't mean complacency. It doesn't mean you stop striving for improvement or growth, but it does mean you stop beating yourself up for not being perfect. It's about understanding that the illusion of perfection is just that, an illusion. Instead, you start to see your imperfections not as flaws, but as unique aspects of who you are. It's like a fingerprint, a badge of individuality, a testament to your journey. You see, accepting imperfections is a pivotal moment in the journey of self-love. It's the point where you say to yourself, I am enough, just as I am. It's when you start to see your value, not in spite of your imperfections, but because of them. So don't try to erase them, embrace them. By accepting your imperfections, you are embracing your unique self. Secondly, you're setting boundaries. The act of drawing lines in the proverbial sand is not an act of defiance, but rather a testament to your growing self-love and respect. It's about understanding your worth and refusing to let anyone or anything diminish it. Setting boundaries in relationships, whether personal or professional, is a clear sign that you are prioritizing your mental and emotional well-being. It's about saying no when necessary, about not overextending yourself, about respecting your own time and emotions as much as you respect others. It's about not allowing people to treat you less than you deserve. Boundaries are not about isolating yourself, but about creating a safe and respectful environment for your growth and well-being. They're a sign that you are taking control of your life, your happiness, and your peace. Remember, boundaries aren't barriers. They're bridges to self-respect. Thirdly, you're prioritizing self-care. It's about understanding your needs and taking the time to meet them. It's about recognizing that your physical and mental health are equally important and deserve equal attention. It's about realizing that you need to be in your best shape to give your best to the world. When you start to love yourself, you start to respect your body and mind. You eat well, you exercise, you meditate, you rest. You do all these things not because society expects you to, but because you understand their importance. You understand that a healthy body and a peaceful mind are your most valuable assets. Self-care is not about indulgence. It's about nourishment. It's not about vanity. It's about vitality. It's not about luxury. It's about longevity. You're no longer ignoring your needs or neglecting your well-being. You're prioritizing your health and happiness because you understand their worth. Self-care isn't selfish. It's self-love. Fourthly, you no longer seek approval. There's a beautiful sense of liberation that comes along when you stop chasing validation. It's like unshackling a heavy weight that's been pulling you down, keeping you from soaring. This is a significant marker on the journey of self-love and self-confidence. When you cease to seek approval, you're embracing the belief that your worth is inherent. Your value doesn't fluctuate with the ebb and flow of others' opinions. You're not a stock market index after all. You start to realize that the only approval that truly matters is your own. It's not about arrogance or dismissing constructive criticism. It's about being able to stand tall in your truth, even when the world may not understand, because at the end of the day, it's your life, your journey. You're the author of your story, not a character scripted by others. Your worth isn't determined by others' opinions. Fifthly, you're embracing solitude. It's a powerful realization, understanding that being alone doesn't equate to being lonely. It's the quiet moments of solitude that allow us to truly connect with ourselves, to listen to our own thoughts and feelings without the noise of the world drowning them out. When you start to love yourself, you find joy in your own company. You become your own best friend, your own confidant. You learn to appreciate the silence, to savor the stillness. It's in these moments of solitude that you reflect, grow, and truly get to know yourself. You no longer fear the silence, you welcome it. You no longer seek constant company to fill a void, because there is no void. There's just you, and you're more than enough. Remember, 
Being alone doesn't mean you're lonely. It means you're strong enough to handle yourself, to enjoy your own company. Solitude is the grand stage where self-love performs. Sixthly, you're pursuing your passions. This is not just a sign of self-love, but also a pathway to self-fulfillment. When you indulge in your hobbies and interests, you're not just passing time, you're nourishing your soul. You're diving deep into what makes you, you. You're embracing the essence of your individuality, the unique spark that sets you apart. And when you do that, you're not just validating your existence, you're celebrating it. What's more, pursuing passions is not just about self-expression, it's about self-discovery. It's about unearthing hidden depths, about finding new facets to your personality. Every stroke of the brush, every note on the instrument, every word on the page reveals a little more about who you are and what you're capable of. So go ahead, explore, experiment, express, dive into your passions and let them fill you up from the inside out. Because passion, my dear listener, fuels the fire of self-love. Seventhly, you're practicing mindfulness. This is more than just a trendy buzzword. It's a profound manifestation of self-love. When you're mindful, you're fully present, engaged in the here and now, not lost in thoughts of the past or anxieties about the future. You're not simply existing. You're living deeply and consciously. You're becoming self-aware, tuning into your thoughts, feelings, and reactions. You're not judging or criticizing yourself. Instead, you're observing, understanding, and accepting who you are in this very moment. This self-awareness is a powerful sign of self-love. Through mindfulness, you're fostering a healthier relationship with yourself. You're treating yourself with kindness and compassion, just as you would a dear friend. You're recognizing that your thoughts and feelings are transient. They come and go, and that's okay. You're learning to sit with them, to hold space for them, without being swept away. This is a beautiful act of self-love. Mindfulness is the key to unlocking self-love. Eighthly, you're expressing gratitude. The beauty of gratitude lies in its simplicity. It's a gentle, yet powerful acknowledgement of the good in your life. You see, when you appreciate the blessings around you, you're actually nurturing a sense of contentment and peace within yourself. And this, my friends, is a profound act of self-love. Gratitude isn't just about saying thank you, it's about truly feeling it deep down in your core. It's about recognizing the value of every moment, every experience, every person that crosses your path. It's about understanding that even the smallest things can have the greatest impact on your journey. And when you express gratitude, you're not just acknowledging your blessings, you're also acknowledging your strength, your resilience, your growth, you're celebrating your journey with all its ups and downs, all its twists and turns, and that's an incredibly empowering thing to do. Gratitude is the music of the self-loving heart. Ninthly, you're embracing change. Change, the ever-constant companion in our lives, is often met with resistance. We naturally tend to cling to what's familiar, to the comfort of the status quo. But when you start to love yourself, you begin to see change not as a threat, but as an opportunity. You understand that change is the only path to growth. You learn to let go of the fear of the unknown, and instead, you welcome it with open arms. You start to see every change, every shift, every turn in your life as a chance to learn, to evolve, to become a better version of yourself. You realize that stagnation is the real enemy, not change. And so, you make peace with change. You invite it in. You dance with it instead of against it. Because you know that every change, no matter how small or large, is a step forward on your journey to self-love. Embracing change is embracing self-growth. Lastly, you're celebrating your successes. It's a journey of love, self-love, that is, when you start to acknowledge and cherish your victories, whether they're monumental or minute. You see, the scale of the achievement isn't what matters most. It's the recognition of your effort, your dedication, and your resilience that truly counts. Each success, even the smallest ones, is a testament to your strength, your perseverance, and your capacity to overcome challenges. And celebrating these victories, it's not about vanity or arrogance. No, it's about honoring your journey, your growth, and your evolution. 
you're taking the time to pause, to reflect, and to truly appreciate your accomplishments. You're giving yourself the permission to be proud, to be happy, and to revel in the joy of your achievements. Because you, my friend, you deserve it. You've earned it. Celebrating success is the ultimate celebration of self-love. So, those were 10 signs that you're finally starting to love yourself. We've explored the journey of accepting our imperfections, setting boundaries and prioritizing self-care. We've also delved into the freedom of no longer seeking approval, embracing solitude, and pursuing passions. Then, we walked through the practices of mindfulness, expressing gratitude, embracing change, and celebrating success. These signs are a testament to your personal development and growth, all rooted in the profound power of self-love. Let's not forget, each sign is a stepping stone, a marker on your path to a more fulfilled and self-loving you. Remember, self-love isn't a destination, it's a journey, so continue to love yourself and grow.